Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. Okay, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So for some of you, this situation really might feel like it's just not going anywhere. Um, you might feel like you've been running in place for some time as well. So let's just see where we go. Um, let's see what comes out. <clears throat> okay, what does their person want to say to them at this moment in time, please? Okay. Maybe this is why it feels like nothing's been happening. Your person isn't saying anything. Okay, there could be a stubbornness, a refusal to say something. Let's see. Oh, if there is, then your person's letting you know they're working on this. They're working on bringing down their guard. Maybe for a few of you, probably less of you, but still, maybe some, your person might be saying, there are things that I want to say, but I can't get through to you because you've blocked me. And if so, they might be hoping that you will unblock them, whether it's literally... You know having blocked on social media or maybe you've sort of blocked them out of your energy out of your heart space and you're not paying them any attention anymore five of swords in reverse if there's been an argument or conflict they're wanting to resolve this if your person's been overthinking um they're coming out of that as well now okay what else please messages to my viewer <clears throat> Okay, nine of pentacles and the nine of swords. That's really interesting. Two nines. Nine is um, the number just before completion. So your person could be wrapping something up, wrapping up maybe a reluctance to speak, to voice their feelings, um, maybe, you know, stubbornness as we've seen. Um, but it's also, it's a very individual number. So your person might be saying, recently my focus has been on myself because my headspace has been crazy with this nine of swords and, and the five of swords. I've been blocking everybody out, including you, keeping people at a distance, um, maybe, you know, keeping up superficial conversation because with the nine of coins in reverse, I haven't felt like um, the best version of myself. I, I haven't felt good about myself and that's what I've been trying to work on. I'm seeing quite a bit of anxiety here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So it looks to me like if this reading, reading is resonating with you, your person um, has, has been retreating. They might still be doing this now, but it's an energy they're trying to come out of and they will be coming out of very soon. Um, you know, only, only take what resonates. It's a general reading. But I'm seeing a, a sort of a strong theme here. Absolutely, Four of Swords. This is someone who is being quiet. They are resting. Why? Um, because they're healing. They're going through a period of recovery and they're trying to, to see something clearly. And you see how these cards are in reverse now. So um, that's interesting. It looks like your person, there, there could be some more forward movement action here. Your person perhaps may be sharing some of this with you, but we'll clarify. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Knight of Swords, quick communication coming in, surprising um, communication. Wow. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> Let's take all of these. So one thing your person has been very anxious, very worried about is this opportunity between you and knowing that they're missing it or things are getting messed up. Five of Wands in reverse, Judgment, Three of Cups. So if there were was somebody else, other people, something else here that was playing a major factor in your connection, specifically in your person missing this opportunity with you, they're saying um, that's no longer the case with the Five of Wands being in reverse. With Judgment here, they have had an awakening, a realization, and we could look at them as being this bird here who had to go down deep, you know, to face their fears and rise above. They're hoping for another go. Um, the Three of Cups can definitely talk about reconciliation. So, for some of you, you know, with, with things starting to reopen, um, you know, gradually, I suppose, as well, over the next few months, they might be saying, shall we meet? Should we go out for a drink? Do you want to grab a bite to eat? You know, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, wanting another go here, wanting a fresh new beginning. If there is a third party energy, it does look like they're, they're sort of freeing themselves from the influence of this so maybe the third party might literally in a, in a practical sense still be around but your person saying it no longer 
is going to influence the way I'm thinking about you and this connection, the way I'm feeling. And the third party, it could, like I said, be a person, it could be a thing, it could even be a mindset, outdated beliefs, um, old facades, you know, anything really. But you will likely know what that is. Right, so let's go in with a Knight of Swords and see exactly what this message is or what it is they want to say. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. Nine of Wands in reverse. Another nine. 999. Nine, nine. In the UK, that's the number you call for emergency services. So this person might feel, this is urgent. I have to come forward right now. We've been stagnant for too long. I've got something important to communicate with you. Also, the Nine of Wands. Maybe they're saying, I, I'm tired, you know, of fighting against this, of resisting you. Um, I'm tired of the struggles that we've we've both faced in this connection. Is there a way we can make this um, go smoother? They might be coming forward as well with the Page of Swords in reverse. A couple of things I'm getting here to share with you some kind of dream they have. You know, this is how I envision things for us. How do you feel about this? Can we make this work? Are we both prepared to push through and fight for this if we need to? Um, or are we both too tired? The other thing I get with the Page of Swords in reverse is that this person might be watching you, um, let's say social media, if they live close by, you know, if there's a way for them to watch you, um, if that resonates for you, they might have been doing that and they may have seen something that's really lit a fire under them and they're coming racing in to kind of um, maybe ask you about this in um, like a, a hidden way or to see what's going on with you. Um, to find out more about whatever they've seen online or you know um, whatever they think they they now know yeah king of swords king of cups my goodness okay so yeah this is someone coming in to try and clear things up did we get we had two kings recently was it the king of swords and the king of wands or something like that but this energy is definitely an energy of maturity it's leveling up possibly them even wanting to say to you look this is how i feel um <laughs> This might come across in almost a very direct, unemotional way, with it being the King of Swords. And also the King of Cups is very stoic. He's not, you know, he has very deep love. He's very loyal, but he's not going to be necessarily, the. he won't necessarily be the most romantic. That's more maybe like the Knight of Cups. Um, so this person might want to come in and suddenly just tell you, this is how I feel, this is what I've been thinking, and this is what I envision. And it's, it comes out of nowhere and it's very direct. It's very blunt. It's very straight to the point. Maybe they're thinking, I've got to get this out before I lose my courage. We have death um, in reverse on the back, Scorpio energy. So that takes us back to the, the fact that they've been down deep into the shadow energy, asking themselves about old patterns that they should no longer really be um, repeating if they want this to move forward in a new way. Okay. Looking at this, we have more minor arcana than major, and that's telling me that the energy around your connection in the 5D and in the 3D is changing very rapidly at this time. Um, and I think that's pretty exciting if that, you know, Knight of Pentacles at the start does resonate, if you feel like nothing has been happening. This is showing me your person moving quickly in the 3D. Okay, so let's move on to some messages over here. Okay, so more messages, please, Spirit, from this person to my viewer. Can you pass through more messages, please? So some channeled messages. Oh, my goodness, this does not make sense to me. It says I'm pissed off. Um... This isn't an, an energy I'm feeling, except for maybe that Knight of Swords, King of Swords, if they've seen something that's concerned them. But let's keep this out. We'll see how this fits in because it, it feels like a bit of an anomaly right now. Um, but, you know, it came up for a reason, so we'll see. I, mm, I'm going to call or message you. So, yes, for some of you, that message about them having seen something and it's pushing them to come rushing in... Um, is is definitely going to hit home it doesn't mean that you know they're cross with you it could just be uh they've seen something that's making them feel worried or worried they're going to lose you or they're cross with how someone else has spoken to you or something like that oh my goodness okay 
we have let's make babies so this person is pretty serious about you they could literally want to have children with you if you both have children or grandchildren you know they're saying let's blend our families together if it's not an actual baby they're saying let's create something let's make something together and um, build something from scratch that didn't previously exist um oh wow look how this is starting to sort of really add up it should be me in the photo with you so I know this won't be for all of you, but for those of you who it is for, your person's determined to get this message through. They've seen something online. They've seen you in a photo with someone or you've posted something. Someone's posted something of you and tagged you. And they're like, what, excuse me, no. Um, and it's making them break silence, break their stubbornness and reach out to you. wish I could be there for you so your person saying I wish I could be around more I wish I could be the one um, that you phone or that you come to if you're not you know if they're not that person already we have insecure so they could be worried to, to tell you how they feel um, and you know as soon as I said that I felt some not resistance but almost like incredulity are you kidding how could they feel insecure telling me this I've always you know um, been clear about how I feel they should know I wouldn't reject them you know that kind of a thing um, but insecurity it's it's not about other people is it's about the self so that's definitely not a reflection of how you've been with them in this connection we have I want to live with you yeah this person wants to build a whole a whole life Oh, you're my secret. Okay, so for some of you, this is something that your person feels they can't talk about right now or they haven't been talking about. They could also be saying, I don't want to talk about this because um, once it's out there, other people will maybe taint this or they'll say things I don't want to hear. You know, I want to protect this connection. I just don't feel the same. I think they're worried that, and I know, I know it sounds crazy, doesn't it? that they're worried that you might say oh that's really nice that you're in love with me but I don't feel the same and you're probably thinking why on earth would they think that I, I don't feel the same um but you know insecurity with this nine of swords it can lead us to think crazy things worst case scenarios let's say in the past this person is used to being betrayed or used or sort of laughed at maybe they think you're so great what if it's all a cruel joke what if um this is all just just about winning or something like that and they come forward and, and tell you their feelings and you're like great i won um by the way i you know it was just a competition i don't care at all you never know what crazy thoughts this person might be having and again not to say that they're to do with you it could just be about other relationships um how other people have treated them childhood wounds um but yeah it's a lot of insecurity here let's see if there's anything else to come through on this Okay. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so this is stemming from an old wound, a heavy, outdated burden that n is no longer serving them. At one point, it might have kept them protected to be on guard, to be suspicious of everyone, but not anymore. Ah, strength. Okay, Leo energy. So this is something it looks like they're overcoming. Um, which is brilliant and strength can be a card of a very high vibrational soul connection so I would say your connection is helping them um, to work through this insecurity and um, I'm hearing the word cure to cure this to heal this I don't know maybe the cure is is a band that some of you listen to um, okay good I'm happy to see strength and we know strength comes out after someone's been in that very difficult devil energy so really going deep as we know healing those wounds battling with them Okay, so what else, please, Spirit? Okay, we have Independent. We have Peaceful. Uh -huh, stubborn, we're not surprised to see that. We have Loud. Feminine, mas oh my goodness, Feminine, Masculine, Balance. We have masculine, we have uncomfortable with self. We might as well just pull a few more now and then go through them. Oh, lazy.
and secretive. Okay. So I see here a couple of things. Um, your person, one of the things they've been working on is balancing out their energy. At the heart of this, we have feminine masculine balance. So this is about getting more comfortable with um, you know, we have the strength card coming out with mass. And again, this is this is whether your person is a man or a woman, but getting comfortable with um, showing their strength, showing their courage, but also becoming that king of cups and understanding their emotions, you know, being able to interpret what they're feeling about something in any given moment. With masculine coming out, I feel that this is someone who, who feels more comfortable and has felt more comfortable being in a masculine energy, being the one in the driving seat saying, we're doing this at this time in this way. And they've um, really dug their heels in with the stubbornness card with your connection, because of course, that's not how um, a connection like this goes. It's not how any romantic connection goes, really. You can't say on the 12th of October, I'm going to fall in love. And then on the 7th of November, um, I will develop sexual feelings or, or whatever. You know, it doesn't work that way. And your person hasn't been happy about that. Um, so that's something they've had to get comfortable with and, and think about and work through. And, and maybe um, it's pushed them to, to release, you know, to sort of sit back and kind of let things unfold. And that's not something they've been OK with. I feel this person has two very separate sides. You know, the, the side that they show people, it's masculine, it's independent, it's loud or maybe confident. But deep down, we have this sense of insecurity, uncomfortable with, with themselves. They might even think of themselves as being lazy. Perhaps when they look at you, they think, you know, you're doing so much. They feel like they can't compare. Of course, this could be just them having a skewed perspective here. But there's a whole secret life that they have going on within. Um, they're quiet, they're reflective, they often have felt unworthy. Um, so they mask this by being overly confident. Um, and I think that's something, spirit, you know, spirit's been encouraging, encouraging them to really work through this so they can feel comfortable with themselves and genuinely be at peace and be, be comfortable and confident. Um, secretive as well. It's reminding me of that card under here that says you're my secret. They have been very quiet and secretive about this connection and sometimes within this connection. I don't feel anything negative from this. You know, I don't think um, this is talking necessarily about them keeping negative secrets from you. I think they just have been, you know, they haven't been sharing with you what they're thinking, how they're feeling. Yeah, temperance in reverse. They've been hiding the fact that they've been more affected by this connection than they've been showing. Anything else, please? That's Sagittarius energy too. Queen of Swords in reverse, Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, some of them have dealt with a difficult um, feminine energy in the past, whether it's a woman or a man, someone who's very cold, someone who unexpectedly became cold, even manipulative and cruel. And um, where they thought this is going to be a great start, this is a great opportunity, it turned out to be anything but, you know, um, and that's possibly where this energy of, of fear came from, you know, do you feel the same? Am I deluding myself? Um, yeah, and that's something they keep secret. So this person doesn't really want other people to know they've been hurt. Maybe they feel like that looks like a sign of weakness or something. Um, okay. Mm, what else, please? We have alcohol. So maybe um, this is someone who has been leaning on something as a form of distraction or numbing. Um, it could be alcohol, it could be anything else, you know, maybe taking this a little bit too far. It's not sort of just like a, 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 um, enjoying a couple of drinks. It's, I have to have, you know, however many drinks every single evening, that sort of thing. Or um, overeating or distracting themselves by watching a lot of TV or something like that. We have employed. <clears throat> okay, so they have a job, good. <laughs> Normally when we get a card about employment, it, it's telling us something is changing. Maybe they are trying to expand to get a promotion, um, to become self-employed, something like that. We have early riser. You see, this person isn't lazy. If anything, it's the opposite. They might be very, very busy.
dedicated to a hobby. Yeah, so this person works. They, it might be a hobby or it could be saying they've got something else in addition to work that really takes up a lot of their time. We have married. So for some of you, yeah, with that three of cups here, there could be a third party energy. This could also be them saying, you know, with the card coming out about making babies, living together, that they want a serious commitment with you. We have smoker. Financially comfortable. We have non-smoker and self-employed. Yeah, so there we go. Someone's trying to make um, healthier choices, whether it's about smoking alcohol or something entirely different. They're trying to to not feel bad about themselves, to not feel lazy. I don't feel that they're lazy anyway, but they're kind of telling themselves, you know, they should be doing more or doing better. Um, like I said, someone's trying to make some sort of transition within work. Maybe they are becoming self-employed or maybe it's just saying they want a job that gives them more freedom, flexibility, um, something like that. If someone is married here, it's it's not a secret, so don't panic. You know, this is something you already know about if this resonates for you. But if someone is married or in a situation and they're staying, it, it's probably because of finances, because they are comfortable financially, but they're not happy. And it, with alcohol here, it's like they're having to numb themselves to stay in that situation. What's on the back? Ah, lives alone. That's why I was drawn to look. So it looks like they can't do this anymore. They can't numb themselves just to stay any longer. They might actually be moving out soon, whether they realise that or not. Okay, so messages please from this person to my viewer. I've thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. Okay, because of stubbornness, because of fear. I'm trying to do the honourable thing. Yeah, so that could be whether, you know, for those of you where your person's got other commitments that are, wow, I just heard killing them. That's pretty extreme. But they're doing it because they're saying, this is right, this is what I have to do. I'm still trying to find myself. So the hermit card there, I kind of think that's something they've been working on and they're now coming out the other side of that. I will make things right between us one day. I don't think, I mean, I don't know. I feel like the, the message, you know, that card, I will message or call you, that doesn't feel like that long away. Um, this card always makes me feel like, you know, one day in sort of 20 years, I'll reach out to you, you know, I'll, I'll send you a handwritten letter in the post or something. Um, it's the, the one day to me, I don't like that. But actually, I feel like communication is much, much sooner than that much sooner than 20 years. Yay. <laughs> okay. You've been in my dreams and we have, I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. Okay. So this person thinks about you a lot. And remember that um, page of swords in reverse. They do fantasize. They do daydream. They do say to, oops, say to themselves, what would our life look like if we lived together? If, if we um, did this, if we did that? Mm, I just wasn't ready for you. Absolutely. This connection was maybe way more than they were prepared for. And I think it asked too much of them. They've had to do a lot of growing um, in the meantime in order to be to be ready for this. OK, yeah, being apart has been life changing for me. So whether you've been in complete separation or whether they've just um, kept you at a, an emotional distance, it's it's been actually really helpful, really useful for them and in turn for this connection because they've, they haven't had anywhere to hide. They've not had anywhere to run. They've had to face their shadows. What's on the back? Yeah, see, I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. So this connection has challenged them in ways that they were not expecting. Okay, but also, you know, because of that, it's been able, and look, transformation, it's been able to heal them in a way they, they never would have without this. Okay, it says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Yes. And again, that doesn't feel like an energy that's, you know, weeks, months, years away. Okay, what else, please? Okay, so let me show you the image. It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. So this could be your person. They've been trying to connect to their feelings, you know, trying to get into that feminine energy and understand what's going on internally, connecting to their inner voice so that they can figure out what does feel right.
we have soulmate. Okay, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So if you've been doing your manifestation work, I would say keep up, see that as a good sign. Know that they are always, um, no, you're connected in the 5D, they're with you energetically, but this person in a very conscious 3D sense is always thinking about you to the point where maybe they can, you can feel shifts in each other's energy. Okay. So we, ha we have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And what I felt when I saw this weight is them almost saying to you, wait, you know, the Knight of Swords, I'm coming in. I know I've taken a while, but please wait. Don't give up just yet. We have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So this does make me think of that, um, you know, three of cups. Let's go out. Let's have some fun. Let's reconnect here. Okay, so with these charms, let's um, let's just pull a few. God, I hope that's not as loud for you as it is for me. Oh gosh, okay, sorry if it is. So we have the pentacle. Okay, so yes, this person has been very focused on the 3D, um, changing something as we know about their work, their career, possibly staying tied to a situation because of money, because of finances. We have the emperor's crown. There's someone who takes their responsibilities very, very seriously. Um, the emperor, he's he's wise, he's mature, he has a lot of weight to carry on his shoulders. Um, and he, he manages it because he makes the best decisions for everybody. You know, he's, he's thinking about everyone who lives um, in his kingdom, um, everyone he has to look out for, but he can be very self-sacrificing as well. And, and, you know, these two together, Pentacles and the Emperor energy, this is someone almost impenetrable. This is someone you could never say to them, let's do X, Y, Z because it will be fun or it will feel good. No, this person wants to know about practicality. Um, so if you've been trying to get your person to act on feelings, I bet you've had or you've, you've been met with complete resistance. This person had to go on their own in a journey to realize that there is value in following emotion sometimes. You know, having that balance between um, the mind and the heart. Okay, we have justice. So more Libra energy. We've got, you know, the scales of justice here. So if something has been um, unbalanced, it's coming into balance now. Someone could literally be going through an ending of a contract, a separation, a divorce here, you know, that married card, um, and and now maybe living alone. Um, but yeah, this, is, this could be karma. Karma has been playing out. Something that has been imbalanced has been getting to a position of, of becoming balanced again. And I feel it's, you know, whatever this journey is, it's very nearly at a conclusion with those three nines coming out or, or it has reached conclusion. We have the moon, Pisces energy, but again, intuition going within, listening to your feelings. So we know that's what this person has been working on. Um, also dreams, you know, your person thinking about you a lot. You've been in my dreams. Maybe you've literally been dreaming of each other. Maybe you've been meeting in the astral planes. Maybe they're getting or trying to get message, messages to you through your dreams because we do have a sword here representing communication. I think it's easier or has been easier for this person to communicate, um, you know, telepathically in the 5D than to come forward in the 3D. And I think that's why when they do, it might seem very sudden. It's almost like they blurt everything out. You haven't got a chance to get a word in. Um, and then it's there, it's all out on the table and then you can respond how you please. We have the hanged man. So yes, this person has been introspective, very quiet. They may have put themselves on a timeout, but this is kind of making me feel like, um, what's that expression about giving someone, is it rope and letting them hang themselves? I feel like repeatedly they've been a bit self-destructive in the, in this connection, but also within their own life. You know, maybe they, there's someone who other people look at and say, well, that was a good opportunity. Why did you mess that up? Um, but the reason is because these other opportunities or relationships, they just weren't in alignment, you know, so no matter how good it seemed to everyone around them, it wasn't good for your person. And they may have tried to stay in these situations, commitments, connections, um, because everyone around them, you know, parents, friends, family were saying, this is great. This is the one, this is your chance. 
but your person knew, you know, and that's why they're having to numb to stay in whatever this is, if there is something else. Um, and if there's nothing else, it could be they're having to, to numb themselves in some way to keep up a facade of, of pretending to be a certain person or to enjoy certain things. And we have the squirrel. So this is sort of like the wild card saying um, everything is to play for here. It could go either way. So it's reminding me of that moonology card that says nothing is yet set in stone. So um, yeah, everything, you know, it's if you feel like there's been a huge disconnect, there's another chance to reconnect. Um, so basically don't give up hope, keep up with your manifestations if that's that's what you're feeling here. Um, of course, you, you have to do what's right for you. If you need to walk away or have a time out, then, then do that as well. But I see within your connection, nothing is yet fixed and we do have that transformation card. So everything here is open to, to change. Okay. So, if you want to pause before we go into your questions, please do. So what I will do is I'll just swing this and I'll tell you if it's a yes or no. We'll just do that three times. I won't expand because obviously I don't know what your questions are. What I will say is you can have three entirely separate questions. You could have the same question and reword it or add or take away detail, you know, to see if that changes the outcome. Um, also, remember this is based on the energy when you're watching this. So if it's a no and you're hoping for a yes, please don't be devastated, you know, um, um, it could just be the energy that's coming through now but you know you know all this so if you need to pause please do but otherwise let's get into this okay so spirit for the first question that my viewers have can you give me a yes or a no okay I'm getting a yes for that okay so second question yes or no This is interesting. It's a yes, but what I feel is that it wants to be a no. Okay, and a third question. Yes or a no, please, for my viewers. Yes or a no. Okay, I'm getting a no. Okay, so I hope that sort of was helpful. If you feel like um, that was an interesting start, but you've got more questions. You can absolutely um, make a pendulum of your own. I would say, you know, Google it. There are many videos on it. Make sure if whatever you're using, you need something weighted. You can use a, ne a necklace, but you need to clear the necklace first. And it's better if it's something you're not going to wear again, you know, so you'll use it just um, as a pendulum. Okay, so I will leave this here. Um, so there's no extended today. Um, let me know what you'd like to see for the bonus reading tomorrow. And I, I think that's everything. Oh, no, no, of course, one question, one card. But this is it for the, the YouTube um, reading. So if you're heading off here, thank you. Hopefully see you again tomorrow. Otherwise, I will pause, clear this away, and we'll do the one question, one card. Okay, so thank you everyone for your questions. Um, today's question or today's winner is Malvina X, who says, um, is the guidance from spirit to resonate, resonate, resurrect the connection or move on? Okay, so spirit, what is your guidance, please? Your advice for Malvina? So resurrect this connection or move on, please. Okay, resurrect this connection or we'll move on. Okay, the high priestess in the reverse. So spirit might be saying you already know. Um, and the thing here is to really quiet your mind and tap into what your intuition is telling you. The other thing I'm getting from this message is um, that there's more for you to know, to find out. We do have the Six of Swords, which is a card of moving on. Let me clarify, the Nine of Cups. If you decide to move on, you're moving forward towards a lot of happiness, a wish fulfillment actually, and away from an energy that feels um, low vibrational or difficult in some way, you know, if you, okay, so here's the thing, if you feel like you're going around and around and around in a very low vibrational cycle, there's very little pleasure here, but it feels like you're trapped, you're stuck, you just can't get out of it. Spirit's saying that, you know, this probably is not the best sort of connection for you to, um, 
remaining and the advice would be move on and you'll find something that will make you very happy something that you're probably with the moon not seeing yet you know the moon at the, the top of this card this will be a surprise almost like a reward for taking that leap of faith the other thing is if you go inside and you listen to your intuition and it's telling you that actually this is about moving forward into a better headspace within this connection, leaving this devil energy behind. It can transform. It can become, you know, something that, that you have wished for, something that makes you very happy. Tell me more about the high priestess, please. Yeah, the lovers in reverse, which to me is like the devil card here. We have the em oh my goodness no wonder look at look at this the emperor and the oh wow the emperor reversed empress reversed the devil in reverse and we've got the ten of swords okay so malvina i'm seeing the same message very strongly this is an intense connection this is this is like incredibly high vibrational soul connection twin flame connection here it looks like it's been painful maybe there's been a painful conclusion and spirit saying you know the answer here with the high priestess you may maybe you haven't tapped into it just yet but it's well worth trying to put some work into figuring out what your answer is because um it's all there within and you know if you get the answer back of like okay this is staying low vibrational i need to move on you find happiness if the answer is that this connection is going through a transformation and you're beginning a new cycle and that's something you feel you can do with new boundaries that sort of thing then you find happiness but it's almost like the, the answer's got to come from within here um this this looks like a very intense connection with a lot of potential here that might be one of the things that's frustrating you there's a lot of potential but you might be finding it difficult to get this back into the light you know out of the shadow side to get on the same page so i would say your answers within i would say do some journaling meditation walking meditation um setting intentions before you sleep you know whatever works for you asking for signs synchronicities that sort of thing to really pull out what this inner knowing is that you have here um, I, th I think this has got to come from within but either way whichever you choose if you really commit to it i do see a really happy outcome so that's the nice thing you know to keep in mind moving forward to smoother water here Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.